All right, in this recording, we're going to do a quick one showing some navigation using multiple magic sheets. And so in this example, I've got just a magic sheet over here called Magic Sheet 1, and it's got a handful of macros over here. But let's just say we wanted to use this as navigations. And we didn't want these to change the magic sheet here, but we want to keep that persistent and introduce another magic sheet on this side. So we're going to start by clicking on the plus icon and I'm going to say a magic sheet. And now what you'll notice is you see that tab is 3.2 and I'm going to choose magic sheet two just for this example. And so to show you this, I can be here. And then when I hit this macro number two, you can see it brings that front and center and I'll hit this one. And now you can see that it changes it to look like this. And I can toggle between what's over showing on that side. And in fact, this macro shifts focus to this one. Um, and what I will say here really quick before I show you how we do this, if you're going to do something like this where you've got navigation and you don't want, you want this to be kind of like exclusively reserved for navigation, what you want to do is click on this gear icon and you're going to say you want to lock this frame. Um, and so that way what that prevents is other things from getting moved into that frame. So this frame is one frame and this one and nothing will automatically start to populate in here. So even if this is focused, um, if I try to open a new tab, um, it opens the tab over here instead of on this side. And so let's show you how that magic is done behind the scenes. I'll hit MM um, to bring us into the macro editor. And so you'll see macro two here shows tab down. That's the magic word right there, tab down 3.2. So we're ta targeting this tab that's labeled 3.2. And then tab up, which is just releasing the tab key. And then we're targeting magic sheet two specifically to this numbered tab. And now we can look at macro three and you can see there it says tab down 3.2. So again, we're targeting that uh, tab. And then, and this was learned, so it's got a clear command line, which isn't necessary, but it will learn that way by default. And we're gonna change that to magic sheet one. And then what we'll do here is, what's important to know is that you cannot create uh, or edit these. You have to learn the macro controls as of 3.2. Um, point nine, there is no, uh, not everything that you can learn can be typed and not everything you type can be learned. So just a limitation you need to know about. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into this magic sheet and I'm going to go into the browser and create a third one here. And uh, just to show you, we're going to just create some intensity palettes in there. So that way you can see some, uh, a different thing. And so here's how we're going to learn that. Um, again, I'll just go back here, Magic Sheet 2, Magic Sheet 1, and now we're going to learn this. So I'm going to do Alt-L on Nomad, or you can press the learning key on a physical console. You see learning, and I'm going to type 4 to learn macro 4, and press Enter. And then now to make sure my focus is on this uh, specific uh, Magic Sheet, I'm going to press and hold the Tab button, and press 3, period, 2, and you see that show up down here as well, and I'll release it, which pulls focus to the sheet. And then on here, I can right click and choose Magic Sheet Browser, and I can choose Magic Sheet 3. And then I'll press Alt L again to stop the learning process. And so now you see that brings us to Magic Sheet 2, Magic Sheet 1, and that brings us to magic, the next Magic Sheet. And I'll press MM again, and now you can see exactly how that is learned there. So I hope that helps you learn how to use macros and Magic Sheets and navigate uh, Magic Sheets as navigations. Uh, a lot more resource, uh, 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 better on your resources than loading full snapshots because you don't have to redraw all your screens or, or interfaces or settings. This allows me to just quickly change what's populating in that specific magic sheet. I hope that information helps you out and I hope you have a great day.